All right, we are Company F. We're doing Enterprise today, uh, presented by Ryan Preston, Martha Hayes, Caleb Bell, and me. Uh, Enterprise is the largest rental car company in the United States. It has over 7,200 locations in over more than 30 countries. It was established in St. Louis, Missouri uh, in 1957 by Jack C. Taylor, formerly known as Executive Leasing Company. Uh, they began to expand in the late 1990s to airports in the U.S., Canada, and U.K., Spain, and Ireland. Uh, they are recognized. They have been recognized seven times by the J.D. Power and Associates Company for their customer service. They acquired Vanguard Automotive Group in 2007, uh, and they are ranked top 15 for the best places to launch a career. And, and uh, they started an exciting program in 2009 called Car Sharing. Okay, and I'm going to talk about the strategy. Um, Enterprise focuses on a focused, low cost strategy. Their competitive scope is narrow and they continuously emphasize on their low prices. Enterprise's slogan is, We'll pick you up. They live by that saying and it separates them from their competition heavily. Enterprise will literally pick you up wherever you are and return you to their location to rent out a car. This creates a better relationship with customers and makes customer service much better. No other companies offer this within the car rental industry. Well, there are four main driving forces. These are competition, oil prices, technological innovations, and cost of flights. Starting with competition, Enterprise's two main competitors are Hertz and Avis. Enterprise is generally cheaper than Hertz and Avis. Enterprise charges $12 to rent a compact car compared to the $21 per day that Hertz charges. This gives them a leg up on the competition and also prides them on customer service. With their cheaper rates per day and excellent customer service, they put their competitors to shame. Oil prices can cause a drastic drop, drop or increase in car rentals. Obviously, if gas prices are high, less people will want to rent cars. But with oil prices drastically dropping within the past few years, this brings more clients to the industry. Now, technological innovations, moving on, can be expensive. Car rental companies have to be able to accommodate to the client's needs. If the client wants a car with Bluetooth and driver assistance, it is key to be able to fulfill that client's demand. If you don't have cars that meet customer preference, you'll lose your customer to the competitors. Cost of flying is an immense force in the industry as well. The prices can help or hurt the companies. If flights are cheap, more people will want to fly rather than drive. But when they get to their destination, they will still need to rent a car to get around. It can go the other way around as well. If flights are expensive, people will resort to driving their own cars rather than renting a car. Moving on to key success factors. They are customer service, low prices, wide variety of cars, and drive alliance. Now, um, Enterprise takes credit for excellent customer service. They make sure their employees are suitable for the company before they hire them. They have a rigorous training program to uh, make sure prospect employees have what it takes to follow guidelines and the mission of the company. They have a promote from within philosophy. This ensures loyal and compassionate employees. With a combination of low prices and customer service, Enterprise is top tier when it comes to rental car companies. They make sure to keep their prices as low as possible, or as low as they possibly can to keep their customers happy and loyal. As explained earlier, Enterprise charges an average of $12 a day compared to Hertz $21 a day for the same car. Now, Enterprise has a wide variety of cars available at all times for their customers. They make sure to have exactly what their customer prefers when it comes to their rental car. If a customer wants a certain car, Enterprise will get it for them. This ensures devoted customers. Moving on to the Drive Alliance Network. This is Enterprise's, uh, they join forces with National and Alliance to other rental car companies to ensure superior service. If you're at a location that does not have your preferred brand, you have an option to rent with either Al National or Alamo and still get rewards points for Enterprise. Diving into SWOT analysis, major strengths identified for Enterprise, we have leading market position. Uh, talk particularly in non-airport locations, uh, majority of industry revenues are generated from those away from airports. Uh, they hold number one in customer service. Um, large fleet of vehicles is one of their greatest strengths uh, as they have uh, 77,200 locations in over 30 countries. 
with uh, locations 15 miles of 90% of the population. Uh, outstanding financial performance is also aided by their international expansion uh, by expanding to the UK and Ireland uh, and other European countries. Uh, enterprises financials revenues have, have grown drastically. Weaknesses identified, although they do have a large fleet of vehicles, uh, the majority of those vehicles are older models of cars. Enterprise also has age restrictions on certain models, being their higher end or sportier, more powerful vehicles. The flexibility of uh, reduced rates and shorter rental periods is not as generous with general contracts with Enterprise as well. Um, and although the car sharing service they do implement is uh, invaluable, they do not offer it in all cities. Looking at opportunities, uh, one obvious one would be to provide newer models of cars. Uh, a lot of customers nowadays like to rent cars they wouldn't normally be able to have or drive. Um, providing newer cars that someone hasn't been able to even use yet is one uh, major benefit to be able to give a customer. Uh, expanding the car sharing service to the majority of the locations would, would help grow customers drastically as this is a benefit that's only been received by some. The automated rental management system that Enterprise has now implemented uh, where customers can simply scan a car to get into a vehicle uh, that's waiting for them with full gas and not have to fill the gas up as well. It's an ingenious system, but patenting it before uh, any other companies use it would be critical. Uh, and then the last we would have like to establish more locations near airports. Although they do own the majority of market share away from them, this is an obvious area for improvement. Major threats, uh, Hertz is the main competition on airport locations. National car rental service does dominate the market in the UK as well. Mergers and acquisitions, um, particularly <coughs> whispers about Hertz and Uber partnering uh, is a major concern. And the overall downturn in the used car markets um, has, is definitely a cause for worry. All right, we'll talk about the financials, uh, enterprises, grown steady since they began. Um, their philosophy is to run the business as a marathon and not a 100 yard dash. Uh, what they do is they approach new opportunities conservatively uh, by placing a higher value on the long term impact rather than the short term gain. As you see that by this uh, photo here, they have grown in the billions in revenues since 1975 it looks. And while they've grown, they also expanded their vehicles they have hired more employees and their locations. Uh, this graph just shows the growth from last year to this year, to our 2015. Uh, their car share, their new program that they implemented, has grown by 25% since last year. And they have increased airport uh, revenue by 10% uh, from last year. And their car sales, it just says they grew in the double digits from last year. So I'll just put it up to 15%. The managerial worry list, um, age restrictions that enterprise implements for certain models can turn many customers away. Although this may be a safer approach, um, it, many customers will pick a rental company depending on the opportunity to drive a car that is too expensive for them to own. Besides a majority of enterprises' rental car fleet being older models, the most noticeable inconvenience re resulting from this is the absence of technological upgrades now common in newer models of cars. Amenities such as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are becoming more common and with a large portion of rental customers being business professionals, these could be deal breakers when renting to them. Although <clears throat> presence at on-site airport locations has gradually increased, it is still a major area to improve upon. Since Hertz still dominates the market share in these locations, it's an obvious area for improvement. Although renting a car is not always directly affected by cost of flying, it's definitely an influential factor. If people could fly to an out-of-state destination for cheap, they will forego renting a car to drive the distance. This could hurt two, twofold since the main competition is Hertz, who dominate rental locations at airports and could essentially benefit when flying becomes cheap enough. The Hertz Uber merger whispers of major concern. Since Uber has essentially taken a massive step in conquering the cab industry, 
an alliance between them and our main competitor could provide unmatchable benefits. In handling the age restriction is turning the customers away. By eliminating the age restriction on all vehicles, but simply requiring a purchase of insurance for those under the previously established age limit, can help mitigate that risk. While it is safer to have younger drivers not be able to have access to sportier, faster cars, uh, by simply requiring a premium insurance, uh, we can help both the customers and enterprise itself to maintain and keep those customers coming back. Those that wish to drive the higher end, sporty, powerful vehicles will have the ability to do so, just for simply just a higher price for an established age limit. You, since insurance is usually an optional choice, by requiring it for those under the age limit, we can keep everybody happy. In dealing with the lack of technological amenities in the older models of cars that Enterprise has in their fleet, we can simply provide cheaper vehicles that have these amenities without needing to buy the absolute newest ones. By buying mo economically viable newer model cars that provide the upgrades such as heated leather seats, Bluetooth, satellite radio, economic miles per gallon, push button starting rear view cameras, and dual zone automatic climate control, having these amenities available with slightly older cars could be a valuable asset. Cars that have these, such as the Chevy Cruze, Ford Taurus SEL, Honda Accord, Hyundai Sonata, Jeep Compass have all been implementing these, these new benefits in models since the year of 2013. Although still a used car, it would be much cheaper than buying newer models, but would still provide all the desired amenities. In dealing with the off-site lack Sorry, lack of on-site locations at airports, as well as the cost of flying and the Hertz Uber merger altogether, we can we can bundle these all into one taken care of package by establishing a mutual pricing initiative with Southwest Airlines uh, to work in conjunction with off-site airport locations. Since Southwest Airlines has been enormously successful for consistently cheaper flights, by partnering with them with a slightly discounted price on rentals to go with ticket prices for flights. With just a simple bus transportation to off-site locations, customers can get a valuable package deal uh, to just ease all transportation logistical needs in one simple purchase. Since Hertz already dominates the majority of on-site airport rental locations, by working this deal out with Southwest, we can provide transportation to our sites and directly bypass the competition that remains on site. This also ensures the greater stability when flights do become cheaper, as Southwest is the primary provider of the cheapest flights available. In the event that Hertz and Uber do have a partnership, this will have already been an established, valuable partnership as well with Enterprise and Southwest that would equal many of the benefits that anything between Uber and Hertz could work out. Almost at 14 on the dot. Is it 13?